Good afternoon. You are listening to the Carolina's Christian Voice, 100.9 The Cross. I'm Mark Hunter, the guy with you weekdays, 3 until 6 o'clock. And as you know, we have been talking for several weeks now to faculty and staff at Robison Community College, and today is no different. I've got a guest on the telephone with me right now. Her name is Dr. Vanessa Chavis. She's the Director of Math and Science at Robison Community College. And let's begin and say hello to Dr. Chavis. How are you this afternoon? I'm doing great, Mr. Mark. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. And as we begin, Dr. Chavis, tell us about the University Transfer Program. Our University Transfer Program it is a growing and thriving program here at RCC. It's one of the largest programs of study at Robinson Community College. And in the University Transfer Program, you can earn an Associate of Arts degree or an Associate of Science degree, depending on what you want your concentration to be. And it's 100% transferable to all of the four-year universities within the UNC system. So if you are interested in getting a bachelor's degree, saving money, you can start here at RCC. You can go to UNC Chapel Hill. And, of course, we know that some of our institutions can be very expensive. So this is a very cost savings way to earn a two-year degree and transfer to the institution of your dreams, whether it be NC State. If you want to be an NC State Wolfpack, this is a great way to get started. And then it'll lay a great foundation for you and help you to be able to fulfill whatever what dreams you have for the future. If you want to go to UNCP and become a UNCP Brave, this is a great place to start and transition after leaving here. So whatever your dreams, whatever your goals are, attending RCC is a great place to start and opens up many opportunities for the future. Well, sounds like it. My guest this afternoon is Dr. Vanessa Chavis of Robinson Community College in Lumberton, North Carolina. And Dr. Chavis, I understand there's a college transfer fair coming up soon at RCC. Could you give us some information about that, please? Our transfer fair will take place on Tuesday, December the 3rd, and it's going to take place from 845 until 1030, and we have over 20 universities that come to our transfer fair. They're very pleased because we always have a great attendance at our transfer fair, and we want to continue that tradition here at RCC because we have institutions like NC State, UNC Pembroke, UNC Wilmington, UNC Charlotte, and then, of course, we have UNC Chapel Hill, and we have a lot of other institutions that come, Campbell University, and and all of these institutions come, and that gives our transfer students the opportunity, whether it be our early college, whether it be some of our local high school students or some of our traditional students to meet with some of the advisors at the university. So it's a great opportunity for them to meet with recruiters from these institutions. And some of them, I've even heard of some of them having admissions on site. So it's a great way for students to find out information about programs that they're interested in because we have those experts here on campus that will be here. We have those transfer advisors that are here that day, so it'll be a great opportunity for students to come and find out about the programs that they're interested in in the future. Whether it be ECU, uh, and you want to find out about our Pirate Promise program, which guarantees admissions to ECU. It also provides RCC students with information that if they want to commit to ECU, it gives them the benefits of attending sporting events or access to resources that they may need. And if you are not a current RCC student and you're thinking about attending, it's a great way for you to make those connections with the school that you plan to transfer to in the future. And the transfer fair is a lot of fun because they actually have, we partner with our admissions department. So there's a lot of activities that are going on that day. And I feel like it's like a fun atmosphere. So it's a great way for the students to meet their advisors and to find out information about the university of their dreams and a great way for students to get a preview of what they have to look forward to in the future. My guest this afternoon is Dr. Vanessa Chavis from Robinson Community College, the Director of Math and Science at RCC. And I was hoping you could give us some information about university partnerships, please. With our university partnerships, we have partnerships with UNCP, NC State, UNC Chapel Hill, Methodist, Lees McRae University, UNCW, ECU, Bevel State, and then we've added on some new partnerships with Westland University, which is called Westland Works. So this is a way for students to come to RCC, and it all depends. Some of the programs, it depends on the number of credit hours that you have, just like for UNC Chapel Hill. you got to make sure that you don't have above a certain number of credit hours in order to apply for these programs. So just like with our 
C3 program at NC State. You've got to be able to complete at least a year here at RCC prior to transferring to NC State. So you have to watch the number of credit hours. You can get in contact with our transfer advisors here at RCC to find out about the different partnerships. And it's for students, if they want to save money, because so, if you think about a school like NC State, when you're talking about $25,000 per year, here it is, you can like, go ahead and earn your Associate of Arts or Associate of Science degree at RCC, and then you'll guarantee admissions into the program of your choice whenever you go to NC State. And we have great partners that we work with at our institutions, our transfer institutions, and they provide the transfer resources. It's kind of like a student is duly enrolled because those credits, have we have to provide information to our transfer advisors on our students whenever we have these partnerships. So just like with our C-STEP program, like I said, you've got to be careful about the number of hours that you have. With our C-STEP program with UNC Chapel Hill, the student is guaranteed admissions. And with some of these schools having such a low acceptance rate, this is a great opportunity for these students to ensure that they're admitted to the school of their dreams. And we love trying to continue to grow our partnerships that we have. So they're growing each year. Just like I said, we've added Whistler University. That's one of our partnerships that we've added. And we've added UNC Western Carolina. And I think we may be partnering with some other institutions. So we're adding schools each year. So like I said, this is a great way for students to come to RCC, get guaranteed admissions to the school of their dreams, and then transfer after earning their Associate of Arts or Associate of Science degree in the future. And if you want to obtain any information you can, of course, go to our transfer our site on our website to find out the advisors for these programs and transfer, get the information to transfer to these schools. I'm talking with Dr. Vanessa Chavis from Robinson Community College in Lumberton, North Carolina. And with the university transfer, I'm sure you have some success stories. Could you share a story or two of success? One of our students is Caitlin Carr. She's one of our recent early college graduates. She graduated in 2022, and she actually went to NC State, and she was on their clogging team at the school. But she ended up graduating from NC State in 2024, and she has graduated and obtained a full-time job riding. So she's living her dream. She's doing exactly what she wants to do. So she's obtained a full-time job, and she's having the opportunity to ride. And then we have another student, Caden Thompson. He is actually a published author. He graduated this past year. So he's a published author, and both of these students are going to be in our floor magazine that's going to be published in our next edition. And then we've even had students with our early college program, just like Jimmy Dong. He ended up going to the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York, and he obtained $100,000 in scholarships. So that opened up a lot of opportunities for him by him coming to RCC. He had that solid foundation and was able to apply for those scholarships, and that's where he's attending school currently now. And we've had many students that have went on and been successful after graduating from RCC. And they've gone on and obtained their master's degree. We had a student that graduated from RCC several years ago that went to NC State, got their biochemistry degree, and she was became a Fulbright Scholar and was able to go and study in Mexico. And she's got her master's of science, master's degree in science. So we have a lot of different students that have had success stories after leaving RCC and going to the institution of their choice. Now, what about registration? Is there openings for registering at RCC? Yes, we currently are going to offer some winter courses that are going to start in December. So students can still register for our four-week courses that are going to start in December. And then we also are going to have our spring registration that's going to start and our summer registration that's going to start. So if students are interested in taking these courses, they can, of course, apply if they have not completed their application through our admissions department and they need to complete their residency information. And then RCC welcomes anybody. We have that open-door policy, so anybody's able to come to RCC and register and take courses and pursue ever what degree field or ever what career path they foresee themselves pursuing in the future. So like we said, we've got our winter courses that are available, our spring and our summer registration that's going to open very soon. If someone wanted more information, how would they get started with that? They can go to our website at www.robinson.edu, and they can go to the Apply. And if you look at the top bar across the screen, it's got our admissions department. And it walks you exactly through the process that you need in order to come to RCC. Because students have to, of course, complete their residency information, and they go through financial aid process if they qualify for financial aid and they want to declare a major. And of course, we have many different majors that are available at RCC, whether it be electrical, 
medical, cybersecurity, education, cosmetology, and we got a lot of different medical programs that we have here at RCC or health science programs that includes practical nursing or stenography or radiography and respiratory therapy and many other ones. So they're able to go on there. And we also have short-term programs that they can complete. And we just graduated our first class with our Lyman program here at RCC. So that's one of our short-term programs that we have and just started the second class of the Lyman program. And we also have pharmacy tech, phlebotomy, barbering, EMT, real estate, notary, public. So there's a lot of different programs that are available depending on what the students foresee in the future, whether it be a short-term program that may only last three months or whether it be something that they may want to complete in two years. It all depends on what students foresee themselves doing in the future. So they can come here and earn a high school diploma also with our CCR program, our career in college readiness program, So and also complete a GED. So it all depends on what students foresee themselves doing in the future. We have nurses, IT information technology technicians, real estate agents, welders, teachers. We got chemists. We got all types of students that come to RCC and are able to complete their degree here and pursue their dreams for the future. Well, my guest this afternoon has been Dr. Vanessa Chavis, the Director of Math and Science at Robinson Community College in Lumberton, North Carolina. Dr. Chavis, as we wrap things up, is there anything else you'd like to add? You are welcome to visit our website at www.robinson.edu to get started with your application. And like I said, just click on Apply Now tab at the top. And you can contact our admissions department at 910-272-3342 or by going to admissions at robinson.edu. And you can also contact me at 910-272-3494 or at my email address at bchavis at robinson.edu. And one of the best ways if you have a difficult time contacting somebody on the phone, You can always visit Building 13 here on campus. It's on the same side of campus as our auditorium. And there are great people over there in Building 13 that can walk students through the process for applying to be admitted to the school, completing their financial aid applications, and completing other documentation that they may need, whether it be completing the form to get transferred here to RCC. There's great people there that are available. So you can start your story here at RCC. We want to be here to help you be able to achieve your your dreams for the future. So we want you to be successful. We want you to be successful academically, professionally, and personally. So we would look forward to seeing other people here at RCC. Well, my guest this afternoon has been Dr. Vanessa Chavis, the Director of Math and Science at Robinson Community College. Dr. Chavis, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you, Ms. Mark.